Rusmalam with a victory over Kevin Banostrand may attempt to... Oh! Oh, but this week is not one big fight. It's seven big fights, and we're here all four. Can you believe that we've got the voice of combat sports, the voice of glory kickboxing right here live and in a living color? Grish, so great to have you as part of the crew, but you have literally been everywhere the last two months, and this week, Amsterdam, Saturday, can't wait. How are you, sir? Back in Holland at the Rotterdam Ahoy, man, I've been everywhere. Saudi Arabia has become my... Uh, my vacation destination. I've already been there five times in eight months. I went twice in the past three weeks, but the fights I've been able to call probably Deontay Wilder, Swan Song, as he got knocked out last week. The first undisputed heavy, uh, undisputed heavyweight title fight in 25 years. Usyk beating Tyson Fury. I'm beyond blessed. But you know this. You know me for a long time. I've been yes. calling Glory Kickboxing for seven years, and I've always told you it's my favorite sport to call. And this event Saturday may be the greatest of all time. One night. Eight-man light heavyweight tournament, kid. Come on, let's go. Now, Chris, when I think of glory kickboxing, and I like to call it your bread and butter, this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Valley's in the stadium, it is absolutely perfect. I think it's going to be the next big sport here in the States for sports betting. Why would I say that? Well, it's the perfect uh, uh, betting opportunity. I mean, the fights usually primarily come from Europe, so it's it's right during the afternoon here in the United States. You get that pre that pre big fight scratch. You know, you got the main event sports here, the NBA Finals, that sort of stuff. You got an afternoon eight man light heavyweight tournament coming from Europe, and the fights are uh, three three minute rounds. It's all action, quick knockouts. Eight men enter, only one man survives. It's a great uh, betting sport. And uh, if you have never tried kickboxing, I think you'll like it. And some of the big names that I know a lot of your fans follow in the UFC, mm -hmm. uh, Israel Adesanya came from glory kickboxing. Couldn't even win a title there. Obviously, Alex Pereira, one of the greatest uh, of all time. So these fighters come through glory and then go on to dominate in the UFC. So you're seeing some outstanding athletes on display. And eight of the best in the world are competing Saturday on Valleys and Stadium. Yeah, here at Driving the Line, this is sports betting is what we do. And I'm telling you, we got the brackets and you got a few minutes in between. You got live betting. It can do you can do everything at Glory Kickboxing. But we're also about the picks. So Grish, if you don't mind, we got four quarterfinals starting on Saturday. And number one, we're just saying one word, and that's the champ right out of the blocks. Talk to me. Yeah, the tank kebab as now he the, the the great thing about this tournament was the top four seeds got to pick their opponents and they asked him who he wanted to fight right in front of him. He goes, I'll fight the French guy. He didn't even know his name, Pascal Touré. <laughs> the disrespect, coach, was off the charts. Touré, though, uh, uh, excuse me, the tank, a minus 500 favorite in this uh, fight. I think he's going to win, but don't sleep on Touré. If you're looking for a dark horse to win in the first round, go with the Frenchman. But the tank is a bad, bad man. Yeah, and in our universe, we've got it like minus 200 in combat sports is the benchmark for us that you can bet it straight. So at minus 500, you may want to throw it into some type of a parlay to bring that number way down. Now, quarterfinal number two, the former champ taking on a 21-year-old kid talk to me yeah Steph on the test you out of Romania I mean this guy he's he's like a, a Mike Tyson he's very hands heavy doesn't throw a lot of kicks but he's just blasting guys out of there and he handpicked to fight Abena the former champ I think it's a mistake I think Banka uh, 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 Abena is a little too experienced but the odds say this is almost a 50 50 fight but I'd lean on the experience of Abena yeah, he can't blame anybody but himself if he made yeah, it yeah. is what I'm thinking as I'm learning from you quarterfinal yeah. number three Two of my absolute favorite European countries, Romania, Lithuania, going head-to-head, toe-to-toe, face-to-face. You're up. Who doesn't love Lithuania? Uh, Masla Boyev, a former champ. Um, I think he wins this fight, and, and it's going to be a tough fight for him. He struggled with some injuries in the past. I'm hoping his body can can hold up. He's in his you know mid to late 30s. But uh, I've got Masla Boyev winning this fight, but I think he's going to be in trouble in the semifinals. And, of course, that leads us to our final uh, quarterfinal the Golden Wolf, Rajab Jada, who fights out of Azerbaijan. Coach, 63 wins, 59 knockouts, only two defeats. And this guy's a maniac. I'm telling you, he just competed a month ago in the heavyweight one-night Grand Prix. Made it to the semifinals. Now he's back down to light heavyweight. He's not the champ yet. He just, you know, he's still new to glory. But I see him winning this fight and winning the semifinal, advancing all the way to the championship bout as a five seed. 
I'm so glad you brought up that heavyweight Grand Prix. That was the event that kind of tipped me over the edge where I was watching that. And I'm saying, you know what? Th this is a sport that we need to finally really get into. And that's what we're doing. And we're starting right here right now. So you pick the four quarterfinal winners. But I need to know at the end of the day, who's going to be raising the trophies late Saturday afternoon here in the States? Well, I see, first of all, a classic confrontation and a rematch, the champ versus the number one seed, Abena versus the tank. I think Abena wins this one because the last one was razor close. I think it maybe tilts to him. And then in the finals of a tournament like this, Coach, it's not so much how much talent you have, but it's how much gas do you have left in the tank. What did the first two fights take out of you? How many injuries are you dragging into the final? So you've got to mix all those X factors together. But if you just throw them on paper, Abena versus the Golden Wolf, I'm going to go with the five seed in an upset to win it all, baby. There are very few nicknames that I like better than the Golden Wolf. All right, now, Grish, <laughs> you've got to go get yourself on an airplane. You've got to get to yeah. Amsterdam. you got to call these fights. But real quick, and we're going to add something a little fun at the end here as well. Your final 15, 20 seconds for what people can expect at Glory 26 on Saturday afternoon. Well, first of all, it's going to be an incredible Grand Prix tournament. You got the, the eight best light heavyweights in the world. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a hype man and I'm a pretty good one, let's be honest. <laughs> but I think any one of these eight guys could win the tournament. Sure, number eight, the odds aren't great. But, I mean, it's not like some tournaments you see where it's very top-heavy. Three or four guys could win it and the rest are just there as chicken fodder. This thing is, is, is lights on, lights off from one to, to number eight. And if you've never seen the tournament, it's just a battle of attrition. I mean, it's, it's a man's, man's tournament, if you know what I mean. It's a sold-out arena at Rotterdam, Ahoy. I can't wait to be there. It is going to be electrifying. If you smell... La, 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 la. <laughs> but the Grish is cooking. He is the <laughs> voice of all combat sports. He is the voice of glory kickboxing this Saturday afternoon here in the United States, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Bally's and on Stadium. And if you want to have a little bit more fun, we want you to participate. You just go to TikTok and you type in glory kickboxing and you can, you know what? Instead of telling you, how about I just let my main man Grish have a safe trip show you right here. Right now. First up, we got the champ Tank versus Pascal Torre. Tank didn't even know this guy's name. He's a minus 500 favorite. I could see an upset, but you got to take the champ here. As for the next fight, you got Letescu undefeated, but he's only 21 years old. I don't think he has enough experience. You got to go with Donaghy Abena. All right, on the other side of the bracket, Smasla Boyev, former champ. He's rolling right now. Love him in this fight. And then boom, bang, bang, man. This is going to, you know, blah, 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 blah. If first semifinal, this, okay, bing, bang, boom, this other final. Blah. And then your champ, oh, it comes down to this, man. I got to go with my guy, the Golden Wolf, and he will win the Glory Light Heavyweight Grand Prix Tournament, baby.